Animals are better than humans at pretty much everything. They run faster, jump higher, swim further. The only thing people are better at is sports. <laughs> at least, until now. Today we'll be competing head-to-head -to, -head to draft the best animal basketball team in a 5-on-5 game officiated by ChatGPT. My team is the Beastly Ballers. And my team is the Golden Geese. So since I won the coin flip, I'm going to start off by drafting a goose in solidarity. For my first pick, I want a dominant big man. So I'm taking a giraffe for some rib protection in the paint. Next up, I want to draft a cheetah because I need that speed advantage. I want some perimeter defense and shot blocking, so I think I'm gonna take an albatross. I think I'm looking a smidge undersized right now, so I'm gonna take a blue whale to compensate. Well, you can draft for size, but I'm gonna draft for agility. I'm gonna go a mouse. And I need someone who can get down in the trenches with some strength and ferocity. I want myself a grizzly bear. I'm gonna match and one up your bear pick. I'm gonna go a polar bear who's even bigger and more ferocious. Finally, to round my team out, I want someone who has hands most similar to that of a human. Give me a silverback gorilla. For my last pick, I'm gonna take one of the only animals that has game time experience. I'm picking a killer whale. The outcome of the game will be determined by 10 total scenarios officiated by ChatGPT, two each quarter, and a five on five to start and end the game. Each scenario is a single possession. If the offense scores, they'll get a point. If the defense gets a stop, they'll get a point. With that in mind, let's go to our live play-by-play -play commentary to see how that first scenario went. Terrence the Cheetah, the speedster, starts with the ball at the top of the key. He makes a lightning quick move to the left, trying to blow by Stuart Mousev, the mouse. But Stuart's not giving up easily. He's darting around Terrence's feet, trying to swipe the ball. Terrence dribbles behind his back, trying to shake him off. How is that even possible? Goldie the Goose is moving to the wing, looking for an opening. Ooh. Garth the Silverback Gorilla sets a massive screen Ooh. for Terrence, giving him some breathing room. Over on the other side, Marvin the Grizzly Bear is positioning himself in the post against Xavier the Killer Whale, trying to take advantage of his size. Terrence, with his incredible speed, suddenly accelerates toward the basket. Kenny the Giraffe is there to defend, but Terrence leaps into the air for a layup. What a move! Kenny stretches out his long neck to contest the shot, but Terrence's agility is unmatched. The ball is up! And it's in! Terrence scores with a beautiful layup over Kenny's outstretched neck. The Golden Geese are on the board! The crowd goes wild! The Beastly Ballers will have to come up with a strong response in their possession. This game is heating up, folks. As the coach of the Golden Geese, after this first scenario, I noticed we had a star player on our hands. Terrence the Cheetah. And my suspicions were confirmed when in the next scenario, he crosses up Bill the Albatross and then hits a jump shot in his face. Stay tuned, folks, for more thrilling action. Stay tuned! <laughs> Two on one fast break. Stuart Mousev and Xavier versus Barnacles. Stuart has the ball and he's zipping down the court, dribbling like a pro. Xavier is swimming alongside him, ready to make a move. 
Barnacles is trying to defend in the open court, but it's not easy for a blue whale to keep up with these speedsters. Stuart takes a quick look and then dishes it to Xavier, who leaps into the air with a powerful jump. Barnacles is attempting to block the shot with his massive body, but Xavier is a strong whale! He's going for the dunk! It's up in the air! And Xavier slams it home! What a play! The Beastly Ballers make the most of their fast breaks, scoring a spectacular basket. That was an amazing two-on-one break, and Xavier's athleticism and Stewart's vision paid off big time. The crowd is loving it! This game was starting to look a little bit familiar, with one team getting everyone involved, moving the ball around, and the other running their offense almost exclusively through one player. It was reminiscent of the 2006 NBA Finals. If the Beastly Ballers wanted to win, they had to find a way to stop Terrence. But first, we need to score on offense. In a two-on-two, Cola sets a massive screen for Bill, who dribbles around it and then dishes it back to the rolling Cola. He then pulls up for a big layup over Garth the Gorilla, which ties the game up. Now, we just need to get a stop against Terrence. The Golden Geese are on the fast break with a three-on-two advantage. The Blue Whale, Terrence the Cheetah, and Goldie the Goose are ready to make their move. But the Beastly Baller's defense is not to be underestimated. Stuart Mouse of the Mouse and Kenny the Giraffe are gearing up to defend. Barnacles, the Blue Whale, starts the play with a long pass down the court to Terrence the Cheetah, who's off to the races. Terrence is sprinting like lightning, and Stuart the Mouse is scurrying to catch up, while Kenny the Giraffe is trying to use his height to disrupt the play. Terrence's speed is a game changer here. He's getting closer to the basket, and it looks like he might make it all the way. But wait! Terrence makes a quick pass to the wing, finding Goldie the Goose, who's wide open for a three-pointer! It's up in the air! And it's good! Goldie sinks the three-pointer and the crowd goes wild! The Golden Geese capitalize on the fast break with a beautiful play! That was some excellent decision-making by Terrence, and Goldie showed his accuracy from the beyond the arc. The Beastly Ballers will have to respond in their next possession. Going into halftime, I was very encouraged because the Golden Geese were currently in the lead. But I was even more encouraged by the last possession, where through use of playmaking and passing, we managed to create a huge opening. So for my halftime speech, I encouraged the Golden Geese to focus heavily on teamwork. The energy in this arena is electric, Bert. The Golden Geese have Garth the Silverback Gorilla facing a tough one-on-two situation in the corner. That's right, Tao. On defense, Bill the Albatross and Cola the Polar Bear are determined to trap Garth and force a turnover. Garth dribbles cautiously in the corner, but he's well aware of the defensive pressure he's under. The Beastly Ballers are closing in on him. Bill extends his wingspan, while Cola uses his massive frame to block Garth's escape route. Garth takes a deep breath, remembers the halftime speech about teamwork, and makes a quick pass to a cutting teammate outside the corner. He's cheating! The crowd roars in approval! It's a crucial part of the game where teamwork <laughs> and composure matter most! It's really telling us that this is not cheating. It's <laughs> not cheating. Bill and Cola scramble to recover, but the Golden Geese have moved the ball out of the trap. What a smart play by Garth. Under intense pressure, he kept his cool and found the open man. This game is living up to the hype. Terrence makes a quick move to his left, trying to blow by Bill with his blazing speed. He's heading toward the paint. But Cola the Polar Bear steps up to help his teammate. He's blocking the path to the basket, trying to cut off Terrence. Terrence is in a tough spot now. He pulls up for a jump shot, trying to shoot over the long wingspan of Bill and the imposing presence of Cola. It's a contested shot, and... Oh, what a shot! Terrence sinks it! His speed and agility allowed him to create just enough space to get that shot off and it swishes through the net. That's the kind of individual brilliance that can turn a game around. Tao, the Golden Geese take the lead and the pressure is back on the Beastly Ballers. After that last scenario, I was aghast at the blatant cheating going on in this game, and corroborated by the refs nonetheless. 
But then I remembered something. The 2006 NBA Finals were refed by none other than Tim Donahue, who if you don't know, admitted to fixing games across his entire career as an officiant. This conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Will we be able to overcome the odds and beat the Golden Geese and the referees? We'll have to see. Well, getting back into actual gameplay and not baseless accusations, we now have a jump ball between Kenny the Giraffe and Goldie the Goose. Unfortunately, Kenny's height just proved too much, who tips it back to Stuart Mousev, who quickly finds Xavier, who drains the open three. But now, let's get back to the real star of the show, Terrence the Cheetah. Terrence, with the ball on the wing, passes to Garth and immediately cuts behind a massive screen set by Garth. Bill the Albatross tails Terrence as he goes around the screen, but Garth, the silverback gorilla, is a formidable obstacle. Garth rolls toward the basket, and Terrence, after coming around the screen, receives a crisp pass from Garth. Terrence has the ball, and a full head of steam. Cola the polar bear steps up to defend, and Bill the Albatross is trying to close the gap. Terrence is a blur as he heads to the basket, but Cola and Bill are close again. He has a decision to make here. In a split second, Terrence makes a no-look pass back to Garth, who's now wide open near the rim. Garth goes up for an easy layup, and it's in! What a perfectly executed off-ball pick-and-roll play by the Golden Geese. That's teamwork at its finest, Tau. With the Beastly Ballers down two points with two scenarios to go, we need to score here to have a chance to force overtime. It's do or die. Stuart Mouse of the Mouse inbounds the ball to Xavier the Killer Whale, and the clock is ticking. The Golden Geese are swarming on defense. Goldie the Goose jumps to intercept any passes, and Marvin the Grizzly Bear and Barnacles the Blue Whale are blocking the way to the basket. Xavier, with his powerful tail, starts to swim down the court, dribbling the ball with Stuart following closely. But the Golden Geese are relentless in their press. Goldie is flapping his wings to cut off passing lanes, and M while Marvin and Barnacles move to trap Xavier. Xavier tries to make a quick pass to uh, Stuart, who's racing ahead, but Goldie anticipates it and intercepts the pass. It's a steal by Goldie! He's off to the races the other way. Stuart and Xavier are desperately trying to get back on defense. Goldie takes it all to the way to the hoop, and... He scores! The Golden Geese extend their lead, and with time running out in the fourth quarter, this could seal the game. The Beastly Ballers gave it their all, but the full court press by the Golden Geese proved to be too much in this critical moment. That's the game, folks. The Golden Geese secure the victory with a dominant defensive stand in the fourth quarter. What an exciting game it has been. And with Goldie's clutch stop and score, we clinch the victory, allowing us to skip the final scenario. A nice, fair, easy, clean victory. No, you victory. cheated. You cheated. Let's I, just say it. The ref Told you what happened! I don't know how any of that is me cheating. Just because the ref also cheated doesn't mean you didn't you cheat. You can't just say that I cheated and expect that to fly. Okay, like, I don't... okay, fine. Let's settle this with a rematch. But no cheating this time. <laughs> Sounds good to me.